Anyway, go ahead. Uh, well, that I got. Okay, I got two movie reviews. Short, sweet. Let's do them in a minute. I got some other okay. news things I want to talk about. First go. off, I need to say, say goodbye to Denny O'Neill. He, Denny O'Neill. If you, for those of you who don't know, you like Batman. Oh uh, yes. Thank Denny O'Neill. Okay. Everything you know about modern Batman, everything that happened after Adam West in 66, 67, that's Denny O'Neill, was one of the big guiding lights. Now, not everything Batman came from Denny O'Neill, but the rehab of the character of Batman occurred in 1970 under Denny O'Neill's watch. That's where Ra's al Ghul came from. That's where all the, the Joker fish came from. All the wild... Outliers and all these wild characters and stuff, a lot of them originated with Denny O'Neill. The idea of the Dark Knight, that's Denny O'Neill. The idea that he's this master detective and doesn't need the all the stuff on his belt, it just makes his job a little bit easier, yeah. that's Denny O'Neill. He's the one who take, took Batman and made him into a galactic class fighter. He can stand toe to toe with almost anybody who's human level. That's Denny O'Neill. He passed away this past week at the age of 81. Mm. And Denny loved you. Hate to see you go, but I know you're in a better place now. Get up there and kick Bob Kane's ass for me. And, and, <laughs> okay, please, because Bill Finger needs the credit. All right? So there's that one. Uh, we were talking about, you were talking about DC earlier. Uh, all the DC movies that disappeared off HBO Max. Yeah. Uh, DC Daily got canceled on the DC Universe. Uh, July 3rd will be their final episode, and people are losing their poo online because they're thinking this is the beginning of the end for the DC Universe online subscription streaming service. It's not looking good. I no, it's not looking good. Uh, AT&T is also selling Warner Interactive. They're looking for about $4 billion. Those are the guys who did the Arkham Asylum games, and they own, like, the old Midway classic game stuff. I think they're the ones responsible for uh, for Mortal Kombat now and a whole bunch of other stuff. They're looking, so AT&T wants four. They make money hand over fist. They're losing a lot on that one. And... Oh, and apparently Rooster Teeth, I didn't know, I forgot Warner. Rooster Teeth. Warner, own, Warner owns Rooster Teeth. Oh, apparently no. they're losing people left and right. Oh, no. They may be going down here shortly because I, I believe one of the founders just left. I can't think of its name. But it's yeah. not looking good over at AT&T land. Uh, speaking of yeah. HBO Max, HBO Go is gone. And HBO Now is now HBO. So the branding of HBO Go, that that app is just gone. That's where you could buy. It. That's where you could uh, subscribe to HBO without having a cable subscription. I believe. No, wait, take that back. HBO Go was where you you had the HBO cable subscription, and this was the online component. So they got rid of that. HBO Now was the one where you would didn't need a cable subscription in order to watch HBO. It was their online streaming thing, but now that's just going to be called the HBO app. So that's going to take the place of HBO Go, HBO Now. So now you got HBO and you have HBO Max. Those are your two. Which, honestly, Netflix has... Well, actually, they have Netflix Netflix Kids. Hulu has one app. Disney Plus has one app. All these other streamers have one app. Why does HBO need two, three? Four. They were at four there, at three there for a while. Well, that was the thing. Like, back in the day, you had, like, even with Showtime and Cinemax and all them, they had different east-west, dark, comedy, so on and so on. It, it, like, the list went on. And HBO just had all that as well. And then there was HBO Zone, and then there, <laughs> it just kept going and going and going. It's even at this point where HBO doesn't even know what the hell they're doing because even though they got HBO Max, but it's like they drug movies over there that they don't even have the rights to, so now they're losing them, but they swear up and down they'll get them back. And 
now with controversy of uh, Elmer Fudd's gun. <laughs> and, uh, now, I, I'm going to ask, I've got to, I actually got that in my notes, that he's gunless now. Okay, I've got two points. Again, two points here. I, could, I do have multiple points I do analyze, okay, because anal is the first part of analyze. Anyway, got to be anal. Now, number one, how many woke viewers do you have of Looney Tunes? How many people who would be offended by Elmer Fudd holding a gun actually watch Looney Tunes? Okay, I'm sure there are some. If they see Elmer Fudd with the gun, they probably turn it off. Okay, fine. That's what you do. You don't like the content. This is what you guys have been screaming for decades now. If you don't like content, change channel, walk out of the theater, turn off the disc, whatever. Okay? Fine. So how many woke viewers does Looney Tunes have? Number two, guys, you these are the gun controllers who are complaining. Who have been complaining to Warners for decades now about Elmer Fudd for shooting a gun at Bugs and Daffy and everybody else, okay? I'm going to ask you a question, gun controllers. Why would you want to take a gun out of the hands of Elmer Fudd? To protect the Chirons? No, 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 no. Elmer Fudd makes every gun owner look like an idiot, okay? Elmer Fudd with a, armed with a gun is every gun <laughs> controller's poster child. I don't okay. know about it like that. You want Elmer Fudd running around with a gun, looking like an idiot. Everything to do that you should Shooting do himself in the face because Bugs outsmarts him because Elmer Fudd has all the brain cells of a bowl of warm <laughs> tapioca. Okay? Uh, you want... He's your poster child. Bye. <laughs> Stop. Don't disarm. Don't look... Down the Which is a shame, too, because we, we were discussing last week the new Looney Tunes things. They actually looked like they were pretty good. They, they look good. The, the two I saw seemed impressive enough, but I've been wrong before. Uh, getting back to Denny on Teddy O'Neill and Batman, Detective Comics number 1027 is on its way. 1,000 straight issues of the Batman in Detective Comics. I haven't even read all of them. It's, a, it's another $10 event comic. Thank you, DC. But anyway, <laughs> so I have no idea what's happening there, but they're probably going to have a, like they did with Action 1000 and Detective 1000 and all the others. They're going to have a bunch of get stunt casting and stuff coming in. Uh, let's see. We talked about AT&T. We talked about Denny O'Neill. We talked about HBO Go Gone, HBO Now Now, HBO. <laughs> Gone with the Wind. Uh, Myth of Frozen Tale. This is... This is like an 8 minute and 10 second movie. It's a short that Disney is doing for the Oculus Quest. It is the first Frozen, not feature, but featurette in virtual reality. So now, if you, if you love Disney princesses, you can get yourself an Ocular Quest and download this for $2.99. You get 8 minutes and 10 seconds running around in, in Frozen World. So... <laughs> Big whoop. I can tell you're yeah. impressed. Uh, I try to get away from all that frozen stuff. <laughs> July. <laughs> it's been, what, 10 years now? Something like that. Let it go. Oh, July 15th. I just love driving you. July 15th, Marvel has a bunch of new variant covers coming. These variant covers are going to... It's going to ship with this variant cover, and it's going to read, On Sale Wednesday. Because DC Comics, with their new distribution models, will be arriving in stores on Tuesdays. Which is driving the poor old Scott and all the other comic shop owners in the country insane. Because they were used to being closed on Tuesday to catch up on inventory, to do their weekly payroll and all this other stuff. Because that's the slowest day of the week. Now DC's going to release all their stuff on Tuesday. Marvel's going to rub DC's nose in it. And they're going to have these variant covers for that one week saying on sale Wednesday. And then the back cover is going to tell you exactly which Wednesday of each month they'll appear and have room for a little blurb from the comic shop. Like mm. a comic shop is ever going to put anything onto a comic book cover and yeah, destroy the resale value. Yeah, sure.
Don't trust China. China is asshole.